30 miles per hour. Uh, temperature at uh, 29 degrees here in uh, Medill, so that puts the wind chill at three degrees. Three degrees wind chill factor uh, here in Medill. So uh, weather really not conducive for uh, uh, outdoor activities, but we got uh, high school football tonight and a lot of the teams across the uh, Sooner State playing in the same type of conditions that uh, are going on right here in uh, Medill with uh, snow falling in uh, a lot of the areas. It is light snow, but it is a wet snow that has uh, been falling here in Medill. Field looks to be in uh, as it'll be just a little bit warmer. Number 42, Ron Roberts. Number 12, Henry Bubba Maris. And number 5, uh, Kyle Stanford are the uh, tri-captains for the Medill Wildcats across the way. Uh, for the Frederick Bomber, 72 is Neil Whitworth. And uh, who was the other one? Jody and Jody Briscoe, number 75, are the co-captains for the Frederick Bombers. And let's give you the Frederick Bombers starting lineup. We'll start with the offensive front, and it stays the same as it's been uh, through most of the season. Number 67, Brandon Phillips, will start at center, the 6-foot, 205-pound junior. At the tackles will be number 72, Neil Whitworth, 6'4", 215, a senior. The other tackle for the Frederick Bombers uh, will be uh, Carlos Baker, number 78, at 6'5", 250. He's also a senior. Then at the guards uh, for uh, Frederick tonight, it'll be 75, Jody Briscoe at 6'2", 255, and a senior. And number 77, Daniel Lack, 6'1", 225, a senior, unless they get in their power set. They get in their power set, they'll bring in Brandon Reisinger at a guard, and they'll take uh, Daniel Lax, Daniel Pilax, put him in the backfield uh, for some of the blocking. And tied in tonight will be Cliff Ballard, 6'2", 245 pounder. Frederick Bombers, no, Medill. Did Medill win the toss? Well, Frederick, won, Frederick the won the toss, and they will defer to the second half. Frederick will kick off and defend the East Go, and the uh, Medill Wildcats will receive and defend the West Go. And I think that's right, as I haven't raised the flag yet, but I do believe the wind is to our back, uh, which will be out, uh, out of the north as the field will go east and west. Now the six foot uh, uh, 205 pounds, that is Clay Johnson. And again, the Bombers come back out on the field. They're wearing their white jersey with uh, black pants. Medill in their black uh, jerseys with white numerals and gold pants. Of course, Medill now still playing for a fourth place finish uh, in the district. So this game very important to them. Also, it's very important to the Frederick Bombers because they don't want to lose one. They want to go to the uh, district championship as uh, uh, the sole team and they control their own destiny uh, from this point on out. The Frederick Bombers, of course, needing to win out uh, over Medill and over Purcell next week uh, to go into the... Uh, in, uh, in first place uh, in the uh, district. And uh, this is only October. Kind of reminds you of the Newcastle. <laughs> yeah. No, it reminds me of uh, about 1975 when I was in Texhoma, Oklahoma, not... Uh, down in the Lake Texoma area here at Medill, but in Texoma, Oklahoma, uh, doing a football game where there was more snow than it's on the field, and they took a tractor, bladed it off, bladed it off, and uh, looked like Green Bay, Wisconsin. The snow was piled up all the way around the field. Not quite bad, that bad here. There is snow on the on the uh, field tonight, and I'm sure this is the first time that, well, in fact, the uh, first time I can remember in I don't know how long that uh, Frederick played in uh, with no snow on the field, and uh, as they're about to do tonight. We're set to start things off, and uh, we'll get the referee's whistle, and we'll have the kickoff. Kicking off, of course, is Ryan Ben for the Frederick Bomber short kick, fielded by Medill at about the 25, out to the 30. That's number five on the return, Kyle Stanford, and he is spun down by Todd Mattoon, and number seven, uh, that'll be uh, Daniel Lax. Or Donald Lax, that is, number seven, Donald Lax. And uh, but we get in the area, this kind of be like throwing hand grenades tonight, folks. Uh, we're going to get close. Anyway, about the 42-yard line is where it uh, is located in Medill Territory. First and 10 for the Wildcats, and the quarterback uh, will take the snap. Frederick jumped off sides. Number 7, the 7, moved into the neutral zone. We'll wait and read the flag, though, before we call it. Dead ball foul off sides against the Frederick Bombers, as we called it. Pilax jumped in the neutral zone, so that'll cost the Bombers 5 and uh, be first and five now. There's a 45 yard line is where it's located. 
Shall be first and ten for the Medill Wildcats. We're just getting underway. All right, they fumble on the play and uh, by the quarterback, the uh, trailing tailback uh, falls on it, number 44. That is Brian King fell on it for the Wildcats right near the line of scrimmage. Uh, Will Marks, uh, Neil Whitworth, uh, one of the defensive ends. Uh, the defensive tackles are Baker and Lax and Woodall at the other defensive end for the Frederick Bombers. Linebackers are Clark and Johnson. Second down for Medill. Second down, five turn, give to the fullback. And he'll only get from the 45, maybe to the 46, about a two yard pickup for the fullback. They unfold uh, number 77, I believe Lax will get some credit on that tackle anyway. Bring up third down and still about three yards needed. So it'll be up a third down, third down and still about three yards needed uh, for uh, Medill. Bombers in their 4-4 four, four look. Long uh, signal count by Medill. Quarterback drops, throws out in the flat, incomplete. It's intended for, uh, I believe, number 81. It fell incomplete. It'll bring up a fourth down situation, fourth down and three. Out there in the coverage was Chad Floyd for the Frederick Bombers. And Todd Mattoon, number 82, will be in uh, back deep for the Frederick Bombers. Number 45, Danny Jones, will punt it away. Uh, for Medill. They line up uh, in punt formation. Snap is back. Low snap. Big rush. Almost blocked. May have been partially blocked. The official says no, it was not. Anyway, it went straight up in the air and killed at the Frederick Bomber 46 yard line. It's only about a 15 to 20 yard punt as a low snap and then the punter dropped it. It uh, laid on the ground and Chan Floyd almost blocked it. But uh, Chad with great, uh, almost blocked it, did a really good job uh, for the uh, Frederick Bombers. All right, Jay McCullough, the quarterback. First and 10 for the Frederick Bombers. They'll turn hand to Ryan Ben. Ben with 1,000 yards rushing, and he'll get to the 45-yard line from the 41 to the 45, pick up a four, and bring up second down and uh, about six for the uh, Frederick Bombers from that point. Numbers around the shoulder pads and tackled him after he picked up four, and it'll bring up second down six. The Bombers got to get right at midfield for a first down. They'll turn, give to uh, Isham, breaks it over the left side, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, five, touchdown, Kevin Isham. Number 21, Kevin Isham uh, found a gaping hole over the left-hand side, got to midfield, cut it back to the outside, raced down the sideline. One of the Medill defenders grabbed him around the shoulder pads near the 20. He ran out of that tackle, and Kevin Isham has just went 55 yards for the touchdown for the Frederick Bombers. They lead it 6 to nothing. <coughs> McCullough will hold. Chad Floyd will try the extra point at the west end. Uh, kick is down, the, or the ball is down, the kick is in the air, and it is good. So timeout on the field, seven to nothing. Frederick Bombers on top. We're early in the first quarter. The ball game's back in the studio for us. Really does a super job. We appreciate Joe and getting it to us and doing all the things that uh, he has to do to keep the uh, program running uh, straight. Pretty easy on my part, just call a ball game. He has to keep everything else straight, and we appreciate the job he does. And also to John Stevens, who spots, keeps these statistics. And tonight brought me the equipment to Medill. Appreciate it. Here's a low kick again to uh, number five. He'll be on the return, and he just kind of picks his way back to about the uh, Medill 45-yard line. As Ryan Ben is not kicking it deep, he's hitting it on top, and the ball just kind of... Uh, Bounces along the ground, and that time number five, Kyle, stand five yard line. So they'll start much in the same place that they were on their first possession. Frederick leads it by the score of seven to nothing. Frederick strikes uh, on their first possession, second play. Quarterback drops, throws a pass, almost picked off. Went off the fingertips of Chan Floyd out in the right hand flat out near the. 48-yard uh, line, Bomber 48-yard line. Chan had it on his fingertips and just went off of it. You got to know those fingers are cold. That football uh, has been 10 for the Medill Wildcats. This time Medill comes out straight eye formation. Wide outs to both sides. Long signal count again. This has been their 
uh, deal tonight. They take the long signal count. They'll hand off fumble, kicked around. Lax has a chance, but the quarterback falls on it. Lax couldn't quite get his footing to fall on it. Somebody hammered the tailback and the football squirted back into the Medill backfield back near the 40-yard uh, line. Lax had a chance to get on number 77, but the quarterback curled on it before Lax could get to it. All on their own 40, they've got to get to the Frederick Bomber 45-yard line for a first down. Let's go 10 yards upfield, five downfield for that first down. Maris will drop, a little pressure. Now it caves in, a lot of pressure. Wings one way downfield. Hilburn had a chance to pick it off and dropped it. And that may not be such a bad deal because it will bring up fourth down. Hilburn was way down at the Frederick Bomber 20-yard line and had a chance to pick it off. And uh, I'm not sure that they'll be able to punt it that far. It'll be fourth down, 15 yards needed. So uh, after Marison winds and form a deal, they must punt the football away. So it's fourth down situation. Snap is back, low snap. Grab it, pick it up, and punt it away. It'll be a kick fielded by George Mitchell at the 35, and that's where now I evidently called for a fair catch. I didn't see him call for a fair catch, but uh, evidently did. A dead ball foul as Mitchell went to advance it after he made the fair catch indication, went to advance it at the 34-yard line, so that'll be a penalty against the uh, Frederick Bombers. We're still waiting as they read the flag. Dead ball foul. Against the Frederick Bombers, it'll be first and ten. Well, now they're going to, are they going to step it off? Yeah, that went to five-yard penalty. That'll move it if the... You know, and Marlo had a lady stood in front of me. Now I got a guy standing in front of me with a dog-eared cap. <laughs> Sir, if you'll tie them flaps down, there's about 40 other people around you can see. Jay McCullough options out to the right and uh, tackle at the... Uh, where, John? Where? About the 31? Is that the 30? Yeah. Okay. About the, now bring up second down and about 14 as McCullough picked up maybe a yard on that uh, option out to the right-hand side. Nobody home, go away. They uh, split backfield, somebody knocking on the door. Well, if we open it, that means cold air is gonna come in. Go around. <laughs> Enter the other end of the press box and hand off uh, that time to uh, to Kevin Isham, and Isham will get to about the 35. Send Webb split out wide to the right. Hilburn split out wide to the left. I must have heard me with the dog-eared cap on as he tied the flaps down. Needs to have those flaps down. The ears stay warm that away. Flag down. Delay of game's going to be charged against the Frederick Bombers. That'll cost them five. Move it from the 35 back to the 30, near the 35, back to the 30. And it'll bring up third down. In front of my eyes, that is. All right. <laughs> third down and... Uh, 14 yards needed. McCullough will roll out to his left. Uh, looks, looks, now throws downfield. Got a man open, incomplete. Threw it behind the intended receiver. That was Webb. It fell incomplete. If Webb catches that one in stride, he ran a good route. If he catches it in stride, well, uh, he'll have enough for the first down plus some change, but it was just a little behind him. So bring a fourth down and 14 yards needed. Bombers lead it seven to nothing. Along for the Bombers, only netted about four or five yards and another penalty. Uh, really put him in a, back in a fourth and 14 situation. Ryan Ben will punt. There's a snap back from Briscoe. Ben's punt is away. Good high kick. Bounds goes across the 40, across the 35. Be killed at the Medill 30-yard line. So a good uh, punt by Ryan Ben and Roll. What did you say, John? 40-yard punt by Ryan Ben. I can't see the scoreboard. I'd tell you how much time there is to go in the first. Shut the door, Ethel. <laughs> First and 10 for the Medill Wildcats. Again, they're in I formation. Wide out to both sides as they're in the I formation. Maris turns and gives to the running back. Finds a crease up the middle. Get from the 30 out to across the 35 to near the 40-yard line. Pick up about 10, about 11, and he'll have enough for the first down with about a yard's change. That was uh, just a handoff. 
uh, to Jones was the uh, ball carrier. And uh, he picked up about 11, huh? Robinson, 42. 42? Okay. What do you think, John? 45's tailback. And the I formation, the quarterback, Maris, turns around again and hands off uh, to number 45, Danny Jones. And Jones will only get about a yard this time. Same play as they ran just a moment ago. And that time it didn't pick up near the yards uh, that it uh, did previously. <clears throat> Picked up 11 prior to that one. Number 33, Cheyenne Clark. Snow and then, of course, the lights uh, shining right in the press box here makes it very difficult to see down on the field and pick up numbers on those white jerseys. Second down, flags fly, whistle. So it looks like five-yard penalty against Medill as they may have moved that time. Dead ball foul, illegal procedure against the Wildcats of custom five. Again, uh, Frederick Dean needed for that first down. All right, uh, Bubba Maris has the Wildcat offense in our formation. Maris will drop back, looks after he fakes, screen set up, under a lot of pressure, gets away. Now he runs, throws, it's complete and bumped out of bounds to number 44. Bombers gave big, big pursuit. Brian King caught along the sidelines near the 45-yard line. Uh, it's still going to be third down and about seven, but pretty nice play as Bubba Maris rolled out of the pocket. Looks like 44. Brian King, and he was bumped out of bounds. Bring up third down and seven. Ball near the 45-yard line. Medill 45 just downfield from it. They travel from right to left, from west to east. The field runs east and west. Handoff, trying to get outside. 42 hit and dropped. Ron Robertson tried to get outside, but uh, uh, Daniel Lacks and uh, 72. Yes. Yeah, 72 uh, in there. Whitworth, uh, Cheyenne Clark's a uh, young man who actually started and hit him in the backfield where he could not turn up field. And once he tried to turn up field, then the Bombers were there with excellent pursuit. Fourth down, low snap, went between the kicker's legs. He grabs it. Now he'll get it off. And it'll be a terrible kick. Bounds at uh, midfield and goes out of bounds at the Frederick Bomber 48-yard line. Another low snap, Whitworth and Chad Floyd both put the pressure on. So it'll be first and 10 for the Frederick Bombers at their own 48-yard line after what, about a seven, eight-yard punt, something like that? Not very much. Turn split out to the top side, now wide to the left. Really keying on Ryan Ben is a handoff to Ben, and he only, well, he lost about a yard. Bring up second down in 11. All kinds of black jerseys around Ryan Ben, and one of those is number 44, Brian King. Again, they lead 7 to nothing, 2.30 to go here in the first quarter. Jay McCullough will option out to the left. Now he will pitch to Ryan Ben, 50. 45 and will go out of bounds uh, near the Medill 35 yard line or oh, Jay McCullough took a shot just as he pitched it but he did make a good option pitch to Ryan Ben he got to the corner turned it raced down the field and was finally bumped out of bounds he has the first down by Jay McCullough and Ryan Ben well, first and 10 for the Frederick Bombers. They lead 7 to nothing. Spin, give to number 21, Kevin Isham. And Isham is hammered by number 44, Brian King. Really mashed Kevin Isham. And you won't see that very often, but that time Isham took the hardest part of that lick. Generally delivered. Greg Hilburn split out wide to the left. Chad Floyd out wide to the right. Isham and Ben in the backfield. They'll turn and give to Ryan Ben. Got a nice hold. Breaks into the secondary. Cuts away from a guy at the 10. At the 5. Touchdown, Ryan Ben. A nice run by number one, Ryan Ben, for the Frederick Bombers as he ran through tough traffic uh, at about the 25-yard line. Got away from the grasp of a guy near the 10 and carried it on in for the touchdown. A good run. The Illegal motion is the indication against the Frederick Bombers, so they're going to bring him back. Where's the flag? 
They're having to explain that to coach uh, the coaches over there. I didn't need, I didn't see anybody. So they'll uh, race that touchdown run of Ryan Benz. Legal motion against the Frederick Bombers. Second down, 12. And bring up second down now and 12 with a minute 35 to go in the first quarter. Seven to nothing, the score. McCullough raises up, throws a pass out in the flat. It's complete, and I believe that's Hilburn, and Hilburn will have the first down as he gets to the stick, right at the stick, and that's where he was thrown out of bounds. Nice pass. McCullough just took the snap, raised straight up, and threw it to number 11, Greg Hilburn, the uh, defensive secondary guy for Medill, was playing off of the first and 10 for the Frederick Bombers right at the Medill 30-yard line. A minute 22 to go. Uh, here in the first quarter, Frederick leads by seven, had one touchdown call back, and uh, I believe that's uh, uh, Ryan Ben on the carry. Man picked up a yard or two, tough running. Frederick leads at seven to nothing, a very cold, 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 chilly mm, night. The option, pitch to Kevin Isham, gets to the corner and cuts the corner, puts his head down and barrels his way inside the 20 to about the 18-yard line. Kevin Isham, really a nice run, folks. Just got in uh, lots of traffic, put his head down and just pushed the pile on toward his goal line. Got down to near the 18-yard line. It'll bring up third down and three. About three yards needed. That'll be the end of the first quarter of play. Frederick leads seven to nothing after the 55-yard touchdown run by Kevin Isha. We'll be back with the second quarter in just a minute. Hey, I'm out here filming in the cold handoff. First down, got a chance to take it all the way into the end zone. Five, four, three, two, one, touchdown, Ryan Ben. That was Ryan Ben on the slant across the left-hand side. Well, good blocking on the left-hand side. Found that hole at about the 15-yard line, cut it out at the 10, and when he turned the corner, it was uh, straight into the end zone for number one, Ryan Ben. So he get, finally gets a touchdown. He, one of them was called back. As you remember, he carries it in that time for the touchdown. Chad Floyd will try the extra point. Bombers lead at 13 to nothing as we've just got underway in the second quarter. And Chad will try the extra point. Snap is back. The ball is down. The kick is in the air. And it is good. I'll tell you what, Chad's been uh, almost 100%. Uh, the last two weeks. In fact, he had a 60-second timeout. Chan Floyd now to kick off instead of Ryan Ben is uh, uh, he's just going to sidewind it downfield. Ryan uh, has been having a hard time keeping that footing on the kickoff, so this will be a sidewind kick by Chan Floyd and a pretty nice one. He bangs that one down to about the five, and the ball carrier thought he stepped out of bounds. Evidently didn't at the 10, 15, and finally going to be pushed down near the 20-yard line. He thought he stepped out of bounds. I thought he stepped out of bounds, but nobody else did, and he went ahead and ran her back to the 20-yard line. Will be first and 10 for Medill. Wildcats want to get something going with they trail 14 to nothing. We're in the early portion of the second quarter. Bubba Maris will turn and hand off and uh, get from the 20 out to about the 22-yard line. High lax uh, in on the stop for the Frederick Bombers. King on the carry. 20, 21 yard line out to about the 24, between the 23 and 24, so second down. In the eye formation for Medill. Bubba turns around, hands off to the back, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, and 40, 35, finally stepped out of bounds at the 33-yard line, Frederick 33, as Hilburn ran him out of bounds. Nice run by number 45, that's Danny Jones. Jones found a gaping hole over the right-hand side as they and carried down to the Frederick Bomber 33-yard line. First and two, uh, 10 for Medill. 
Get a long count now. They'll finally run the play. Hit behind the line and dropped for a loss. That's Maris as number 77, Pi Lax, grabbed the quarterback, Henry Bubba Maris, and tackled him back at the 37-yard line. So a loss of about five. 10-0-3 to go. First half, Frederick leads it 14 to nothing. They'll run the draw play and hand off to number 45. Got out of one tackle, got out of another one, and good running. And will be pushed out of bounds near the 25-yard line. That's Danny Jones. Jones ran out of two tackles and carried to the 25-yard line. So bring up third down, and they ran the draw play that time. Picked up nice yardage. Facing third down and uh, about four yards needed. See if uh, Medill stays on the ground. Maris hands off to number 42, and he hit a big pile, but uh, ran out of that one to the 20. Hit into a stack. Looked like he might be stopped, and then uh, carried on down to the 20-yard line. Good second effort by Ron Robertson, and he'll have enough for the first down. First and 10 at the Frederick Bomber 20-yard line with nine. Frederick Bomber 20-yard line. Okay, the a long signal count again by the Wildcats. They will hand off to number 45, and he is stacked up this time. He didn't run out of the grass that time as he hit the where the hole was supposed to be, and all kinds of white shirts that were there for the Frederick Bombers to push number 45, Danny Jones, back. Uh, just upfield from the 20, he lost about a half. He Bombers lead it 14 to nothing. Again, Medill with the ball down at the Bomber 20-yard line. Amaris again, long, long time to take a look at things. Now he'll hand off to Roberts. Roberts looked for a crease and may have picked up two or three yards. Somebody jumped on him, got a free ride uh, down to the, about the 17-yard line. Clay Johnson and Lax on the stop. I believe it was... Ball just about the 17-yard line. Down in bomber territory. Of course, four-down territory for Medill, should they opt to go that way. Facing third down and seven. Maris drops, throws out in the flat. It is caught. And a flag down on the play. They say touchdown. There is a flag down on the play, though, and I believe it's going to be pass interference against Frederick. That pass was completed. To number 18, Derek Hamilton. Hamilton ran the quick slant, and Maris threw a strike to him. That's going to be against Frederick. Pass interference, I thought it would uh, be. It's uh, declined. It'll be touchdown for the Wildcats. Hamilton uh, ran the slant toward the goalpost. Maris threw a strike to him, bullet, uh, for the uh, for the fake it or go for it or something like that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're going to try the extra points. They shift now. We'll line up uh, for the extra point. Ron Robertson, the Ron Robertson will hold for the extra point try. The snap is back. The ball is down. The flag down also on the play. Dead ball foul. Uh, delay a game against Medill, so that'll cost the Wildcats five. Move the ball back from the three to the eight-yard line for the try on the extra point. They'll now try the extra point from about the eight. Trying for the extra point coming up. There's the snap, and the ball is down. The kick is in the air, and is it good? Yes. Barely stayed inside the... With more Bomber football in just a moment. Now, Medea will line up if to on kick, uh, onside kick, and let's see what they do. Yeah, they're going to... Got a bunch of people all together they'll kick it short and along the ground it'll go out of bounds not sure what that was intended to do whether it be an onside kick or just kind of kick it where nobody was located they're all 11 guys bunched up bomber's going to 
Webb split out wide to the left for the Frederick Bombers. Hilburn split out wide to the right. They will turn, no option by McCullough. Gets out to the corner and then pitches to Ryan Ben. Ryan puts his head down. Goes along the sideline across the 45 to near midfield. May have got to the Medill 49 yard line. Was it Kevin? Yeah, Kevin Isham as they faked Ryan Ben and ran the option. One and 21. Ball spotted at the 50-yard line. Ball right at uh, midfield. Now they'll option to this side, McCullough, to Ryan Ben, and he'll get to the 50 and then be stood up and tackled by number 55. That's Jeff Landgraf who grabbed Ryan Ben and rolled him to the ground at the 49-yard line. Only about a yard pickup. A lot of lateral running by the Frederick Bombers, but not much uh, for the Ryan Ben there. Ever could quite get his footing to cut up field for Frederick. Second down, nine yards needed. Ball in Medill territory. They'll pitch to Ryan. He tries to cut outside and does. 45, 40, smothered at the Medill 35-yard line. Ryan Ben with a nifty run. And number 85 in on the stop for uh, Medill. That is Larry Giles, young man on the stop for Medill. Uh, Mark on a cold, cold night in Medill. McCullough raises up, quick pass out in the flat. It is complete and then knocked out of the hands of Hilburn as McCullough let him just a little too much. And when Greg went after it, the defender hammered Greg and knocked the ball out of bounds. It'll bring up second down. Second down, Ben Bummers. Flag down on the play as McCullough rolls out, throws downfield. It's going to be intercepted by number 12 at the Medill 20-yard line and tackle finally at the 21 as he ran around. That's Bubba Maris. Two flags down, three flags down. One of the flags going to be against Frederick. Legal procedure. I don't have any idea what the other ones are all about. Now the officials will sort this thing out. But it may still be Frederick's football after all setting penalties. One of these is going to be a legal procedure against Frederick. I think one of these penalties is against Medill. All right, so illegal procedure against Frederick clipping against the Wildcats. So let's wait and read. Motion against, the Bombers. Motion against Frederick declined. Clipping against Medill. Against it will be Medill's football, but uh, they'll uh, be after the penalty. So it'll be uh, Medill's football from uh, the 20. They'll be half the distance. Be near the 10, 9 or 10 yard line. Okay, that's from the point of the foul, okay. Be about the eight yard line is where they'll move it to. From the point uh, where the clip occurred, and that's near the eight. So it'll be first and 10 for Medill from their own eight yard line with 6.17 to go in the first half. Frederick leads it by the score of 14 to seven. First down, Wildcats. All right, now the Wildcats will see what they can do. No turnovers by Medill. At this point, he'll get to about the 10 yard line. 45. And uh, Frederick Bombers. Medill facing second down and seven. They got from near their own eight out to about the 11. Second down, eight yards to go for the Wildcats. Maris will hand off, and the ball carrier really pushed back hard by the Frederick Bombers just as he took the handoff. Lax, uh, Pie Lax. And Johnson. Four minutes, 46 seconds to go before halftime. Frederick leads it 14 to 7. Medill down deep in their own territory, trying to wedge their way out. They'll run a draw play and hit by 77 Lax and tackled. 
And let's see where they mark it. It'll be near the goal line as they ran a draw play and Lax hammered the ball carrier. The official is standing there, standing, holding it up. They'll move the stick back to, let's see, uh, on about the three yard line is where they're gonna mark uh, progress. So it'll bring up fourth down and back deep for Frederick is George Mitchell and number 82, Todd Mattoon, back deep. But the punter must stand in his own end zone back foot. Uh, is right up against the back of the end zone line. The snap is pretty good. He'll get a fairly good punt away. And George Mitchell at the 40. Stutter steps to the 45, cuts it outside. Will go to the 30, 35, and finally be pushed out of bounds. At the Medill, near the Medill 25-yard line. Duncan pushed uh, Mitchell out of bounds. Attention, leads it by the score of 14 to 7. They've got the ball down deep in Medill territory after the fine punt return by George Mitchell. They will hand off to Mitchell and he runs down the middle and Mitchell stumbles and falls inside the 20 to about the Medill 18 yard line. George Mitchell on the carry. The little guy just kind of shot uh, through there and picked up a long seven. Again, Frederick leads 14 to seven, but they're down deep in Medill territory, facing a second down, three yards needed. They'll give to Ryan Ben, breaks it over one side and will be pushed out of bounds inside the 10. Ryan Ben with a really nice run. Found a nice hole over the right-hand side and then cut to the outside, trying to keep his footing. He's finally pushed out of bounds, but the Bombers picked up a first down. All right, McCullough will set the offense. They'll give to George Mitchell. He will go into the end zone, touchdown. George Mitchell with a nifty little seven yard touchdown run. They were aiming at Ryan Ben. You could tell they were kind of pointing at Ryan Ben, uh, thinking he would carry it. When George Mitchell got the handoff, the little guy just ran right behind, good blocking up front, and raced into the end zone with a nifty little seven yard touchdown run. But Frederick on top, 17 to 7. Well, wait a minute. Should be 20 to 7. Then they'll try the extra point. Chad will try the extra point. The ball is down. The kick is in the air. And it uh, is no good. Wide to the right. So Chad finally missed one. But uh, had the distance just uh, a little bit wide right. The in that ball game. Lindsay and Purcell 0-0 zero, zero just before halftime. Chad Floyd will kick off for the Frederick Bombers. And again, he'll kick it soccer style. And the last time he kicked off, kicked off uh, really good for the Frederick Bombers. Ryan Ben had a couple of miscues on the kickoff trying to keep his footing. Robertson and Hamilton to receive. We've got Robertson and Hamilton back deep for the Wildcats. Here's Floyd's kickoff, high kick, not quite as long as the other one, but a good high kick, fielded at the 20, out to the 30, and to the 35, and to the 36 yard line. Number 45 on the carry, Danny Jones. And he drove it 80 yards. Maris will go back to pass. A lot of pressure. Now he will finally throw it. It is intercepted by Chad Floyd at mid or 45, tackled at the Medill 41 yard line. That was Chad Floyd that picked that one off. So first and 10 for the Frederick Bombers at the Medill 41 yard line with 2.15 to go before halftime in the backfield for Frederick along with Ryan Ben. They'll start a man in motion. That's Webb to the right. And McCullough will roll out to the right to runner pass. Throws one incomplete. Tended for Hilburn. And it fell incomplete. And it'll bring up second down. And 10, that'll stop the clock. With a minute hot chocolate on this cold night. You sit by your radio and enjoy the uh, uh, broadcast. 
All right, McCullough fumbled on the play, rode Ryan Ben just a little too long, and it was dropped. Medill says we've got it. Big pile up at the 41-yard line, and Medill does have it. Wildcats recover it at the 41-yard line, so it'll be first and 10 for Medill at the 41-yard line. In that uh, play, it's just a matter of either pulling it out or tucking it away type thing, and uh, that time it went to the ground on this cold night, and uh, you're going to have some of that cold as it is holding on to the pigskin. Maris drops to pass again, throws way, way, way deep downfield. It's picked off by Hilburn at the 10. Got a convoy, 15, 20, 25, and run out of bounds at the 30, 35 yard line. No, 40 yard line is where they're going to say Greg stepped out of bounds. Picked up a nice convoy. He picked that one off down near the 10 yard line and returned it to the Frederick Bomber 43 yard line. Greg went back on that one like a center fielder. Played it above. Possessions has been a pass interception for Medill. Fumble by Frederick and a pass interception for Medill. So three miscues after both teams had went along pretty solidly. Ryan Ben will carry the ball out across the 45 to near the 48-yard line. Haywalt on the tackle of Ryan Ben picked up almost four, and it'll bring up second down and a long six. And a timeout taken just before the ball is snapped. Frederick takes a timeout. So timeout on the field by the Frederick Bombers with 27 seconds to go before halftime. Frederick leads at 20 to 7. We'll be back in just a moment. John said it looked like an old hen sitting on the nest over the top of this heater we've got here. Anyway, quick pitch outside to Ryan Ben. Gets to the corner. Nice move by Ryan Ben. Oh, very nice. At, uh, he carries down to the Medill 37 or 38 yard line. A move the change. Boy, Ryan Ben just shot out of a. Uh, didn't look like he was going to get anything. And then the fine junior. Boy, made a terrific move. Uh, crossed uh, at the far sideline and went to the 37 yard line, 38 yard line with 19 seconds to go before halftime. 20 to be a lot of interest in that ball game. First and 10 for the Frederick Bombers with 19 seconds to go before halftime. McCullough turns, gives to uh, Ryan Ben and nothing, absolutely nothing. Tackled at the 39-yard line, lost about two, and Frederick takes another timeout with 14 seconds to go before halftime. Trying to get another score. Boy, that one was zero to start with. Down here. Now, I don't know. I've, I've never been down here or, or lived down here, that type of thing, so I don't know, but I was just going by what a lady told me. <laughs> McCullough drops, looks, looks, pumps, loads up, throws, intercepted. 20, 25, 30, and ridden down from behind at the 36-yard line. Someone picked that off. I believe it's number three. Not, uh, first half of play, it is Frederick 20 and Medill 7. And uh, now stay tuned. John will compile the statistics from the first half. Joe will have some music for you. And then we're going to be back here with the second half of play coming your way from uh, Medill. So be sure that you uh, stay tuned. Here's Joe. Got You're getting pretty old then, aren't you? Yards and George, Chicken Angel, or Chicken George Mitchell. 
Uh, here's about twice for 14 yards. Frederick had uh, five other to mess with the yeah, no, okay, go ready. Frederick had 19 rushes for 175 yards. Mustafa went one completion of six attempts with two interceptions for 14 yards for a total of 189 yards total offense for Frederick Bowman. They had seven first downs, were penalized four times for 20 yards. Uh, they punted once for 40 yards. They fumbled once and lost once. Jones for uh, we get ready to start the second half of play and light snow beginning to fall again uh, here in Medill as we look across the field we can see the light snow falling again 20 to 7 the scores we get ready to get underway here in the second half of play Medill as we mentioned will kick off to start the second half and Frederick will receive they've got uh, Couple of people back, George Mitchell and Ryan Ben back deep for the Frederick Bombers. And the kickoff, it'll be a squibbing kick along the ground and fell on by Frederick at the 43, 42 yard line. Oh, check that, 47 yard line. Where it'll be a, a little onside kick. They elected not to kick it deep again to the Frederick Bombers. As they just uh, kind of, first and 10 for the Frederick Bombers at the 47-yard line, their own 47-yard line. McCullough will give to Isham, and Isham will get maybe to midfield. About 49-yard line. Number 55, corral him at that point. That's Jeff Landgraf. And he picked up three. Uh, yeah, about three, and then will bring up second down seven. That is third quarter. McCullough will set the offense and hand off to Isham. Isham will power across the midfield to near the Medill 46 yard line. Give him a gain of four and it'll bring up third down and just about three yards needed for the Frederick Bombers. Light snow falling again here in Medill. McCullough again uh, will hand off to Ryan Ben. Nice hole 40 to the Medill 35 yard line goes Ryan Ben. Number three, Jason Branch grabbed Ryan Ben at the 35-yard line and pushed him to the ground, but Ben picked up enough. Todd Mattoon split out wide to the left along with Chad Floyd. They will hand off inside to Kevin Isham, and Kevin Isham has stood straight up. Well, he was really hit. So no gain. It'll bring up second down. Still about 10 yards needed for the Frederick Bombers. Stood Kevin Isham up right at the line of scrimmage and pushed him back. Second down right at 10 needed for the first down. They'll give to Ryan Ben. Tries to scamper outside. Tripped up and slowed down, down and then grabbed by a bunch of the Wildcats and pushed out of bounds. Number 81, 12, and 3 on the uh, tackle for Medill. Uh, that'll be Henry uh, Bubba Marison on the tackle along with Jason Branch. Pushed uh, Ryan Ben out of bounds. So he got to the 33 yard line. That'll bring up third down into the way and down in the southwest corner of the end zone. It is standing straight out. Quick pass out to Hilburn and it'll be incomplete. McCullough threw that one a little low to Greg. So bring up fourth down. Frederick uh, Bombers have scored touchdowns uh, when they went for it on fourth down. So let's see what they've got uh, this time. Unbalanced line to the left and the option out to the corner. Pitch to uh, Isham and they dropped it, but it was fourth down anyway. Will not have the first down. So uh, we'll go over to Medill. They had it set up pretty good. Kevin Isham was just trailing Jay too close when he pitched it. Pitched it out to Isham, and it hit Isham on the thigh pad, bounded away, and fell on by Isham. So first and 10 for Medill. That's a case where the trailing back was just too close to the quarterback when he went to pitch it. The I formation for uh, Medill, they'll hand off, and a fumble as it was stripped, and maybe Frederick got it. They did, and number 77 lacks. Stripped the football out of the ball carrier's hand, then fell on it for the Frederick Bombers. 
at the Medill 27-yard line. First and 10 for the Frederick Bombers. They get the ball right back. That was all Pilax. Pilax stripped the football from the ball carrier and then... All right, the handoff uh, to, I believe that's Ryan Ben. Nope, there's Ben, maybe an Isham. Yeah, it was Kevin New. Carried it <clears throat> down to the Medill 19-yard line. So Isham picked up seven. It'll bring up second down and three yards needed. Ball got uh, the strong backfield set for the Frederick Bombers. They'll give to Ryan Ben. He found a nice crease, then cut to the outside and was tripped up. But he should have enough, I believe, for the first down. See where they mark it. Now we're going to have official timeout. They're going to bring the chains from across the way. They lined up that time in what we'll call the muscle set or the strong set. That's where they bring 77 Pilax into the backfield as one of the lead blockers. He and Kevin Isham will uh, be just in front of Ryan Ben. That was the case that time. It's number 73 for the Frederick Bombers has checked in at guard, and that is Brandon Reisinger, 6-foot, 175-pound senior. And on the offensive front, as Frederick has enough for the first down. Jody Briscoe, one of the co-captains for Frederick, up surveying the measurement, making sure that everything went according to Hoyle. Ryan Ben for Frederick. And McCullough drops the snap and fell on by Medill. McCullough never could get a hold of it. He just dropped the snap from center. And number 45 falls on it. That is Danny Jones who grabbed it for the Medill Wildcats. So it'll be first and 10. Yard line, first and 10. Two fumbles already here in the second half, third quarter. Actually, three fumbles. Only two have caused the possession change. Ron Robertson, the fullback, only about a yard. Woodall on the stop. Shea Woodall, number 68. And on the tackle. And a long eight for the first down. Frederick on the road next week, traveling to Purcell. Take on the Dragons. So two long road trips for Frederick. They wind out of the 93 season. Handoff and dropped immediately. Number 44, Brian King, took the handoff and was met by 77 and 72. Whitworth in there banged him hard just as he took the handoff. The last two running plays for Medill has netted nothing. Maris drops, rush, slap down. Knocked down at the line of scrimmage by 77 Pine Lax as Maris is passed, just unloaded, and the big right hand of Lax knocked it down. It'll bring up fourth down for the Wildcats. That means that uh, George Mitchell, Todd Mattoon will go back deep for Fred. <laughs> Snap is back, flag down, punt is away. Mitchell calls for the fair catch and fumbles it, and it goes out of bounds. Just went off his fingertips as he was running to make the fair catch. There is a flag down, and we'll wait and read this flag. Come from an area where it uh, may be a uh, legal procedure or offsides by one of the teams. Yeah, a legal procedure against Medill. One of the better punts that Maris has got off tonight. Frederick saying, take the penalty. They're going to wave her on back, take the penalty, and have Medill re-kick it. Again, Maris must punt. Stands back uh, near the five-yard line. Snap is a good snap. He'll get it back and uh, gets the punt away. Mitchell lets it hit in front of him. Now bounds up. He grabs it. Cuts inside of one guy. Trying to get the sideline flagged down on the play. It'll be a clip against Frederick. 
as Mitchell fielded at about the 50, got back to the Medill 40-yard line. But uh, we'll wait and see where they'll step this penalty off from. There is flag down on the play. Twenty to seven, Frederick on top. Five nineteen to go, third quarter. There's a man in the white hat to uh, tell us what's up. Face mask penalty. Who? Against uh, Medill, clipping against Frederick. So we got offsetting or something. Clip and a face mask. Face mask was on the tackle at uh, along the Frederick sideline across the way. And uh, then the clip. Talking with people, uh, both the Frederick captains and the Medill captains, sort this thing out. Yeah, the wind's blowing right in their face, that north wind. They're going to offset, we'll punt it again. So for the third time now, we'll punt. Again. Offsetting penalties. Thought that was probably going to be the case, or should be anyway, with the offsetting penalties. Wind chill at about two or three, and uh, you see lots of red blankets. People bundled up standing out of this north wind uh, down along the concession stand area. <clears throat> All right, they're going to punt it again, and again, Maris stands near his own five to, for the third time to be uh, punting. Snap is back. He'll get the punt away. Not as good. This one off the side of his foot. Hits and bounds and will be killed at the Medill 41-yard line. So after about three punts, the Bombers gained in yardage each time. And that one that time uh, not near as good as the other two by Maris. As that one split out wide to the right. They've got Hilburn split out wide to the left. Eicherman being in the backfield with McCullough tied in on the right. That's Ballard, and they will uh, give to Isham, and Isham will be hit and pushed back after he got to about the Medill 38-yard line. Number 21, Isham, uh, so we'll bring up. <laughs> Only one wide out this time. Split out wide to the right. This will be a handoff and the same situation where McCullough and the guy, uh, Ryan Ben both are tackled. Uh, nothing there, and tackle at the 40. Giles got in there and really messed that one up for Medill. Boy, Bombers not. Now they'll go with their power set as Pylax has now moved into the backfield. McCullough will fake, roll out, runner pass. Finally throws her downfield, got a man open, and it is incomplete. And did they finally get the flag out? Uh, yeah, well, I can't tell. Let's see if he went past the line of scrimmage. We'll wait and see. Uh, McCullough rolled out to his left to run down. And the pass is intended for Webb. Still waiting. Now, uh, past the line of scrimmage. As McCullough ran past the line of scrimmage and threw that one. It'll be a fourth down situation. It'll be, uh, they take it, it'll still be third down. If they decline it, well, that's loss of down. They're going to decline it anyway, though. Illegal forward pass. Illegal forward pass. Fourth down is the indication. Be against the Frederick Bomber, so they must punt the ball away. So Ryan Ben will punt for Frederick at the 39-yard line. Fourth down, facing fourth and just about nine. Snap is back from Briscoe in good shape. Ryan Ben aims her high down the sideline, taken and boom, hit immediately at the five-yard line after the young man received a punt. The guy going down the sideline, Hilburn, on the right-hand side, level the guy uh, making the catch on the punt at about the five-yard line. So it'll be first and ten from their own five-yard line for the Medill Wildcats to return home uh, on the opening of the playoffs.
High formation set for Medill. Tailback standing back in the end zone. They'll turn and hand off to the tailback. Got a little bit of running room. Gets to the outside and will get out across the 10 to about the 15-yard line. Whitworth finally put the tackle on number 45. But you have a team pinned deep like that, and uh, uh, you certainly uh, don't want to see them get to the outside and pick up 11 or 12 out to the 15 for a first down. Last time they were deep in their own territory back in the first half, they mounted an 80-yard drive, starting at their own 20-yard line for the only score. They will hand off, and not this time, at 77, Pi Lax grabs 45. He's still spinning around, but his forward progress is going to be stopped. It'll be second down, and Pi really shot the gap. Tangled him at the... Get the... A minute 42 to go, third quarter. Frederick leads it 20 to 7. Marisi, long, long signal count. Now he'll finally snap it. Hand off to number 45. He'll pick up uh, just a little bit. Danny Jones may have gone back to the original line of scrimmage. 51, Clay Johnson in on the tackle. Under a minute to go in the third quarter, about 50 seconds, 20 to 7. Maris drops back and looks, looks. Now he throws and may have been intercepted along the sideline. Nope, out of bounds. Good effort by Greg Hilburn to try to pick that one off uh, down along the far sideline after it was tipped by the intended receiver, Mitchell or to Todd Mattoon. They're back deep for the Frederick Bombers. Maris awaits the snap in his own end zone near it. Got it. Got the punt away. Mitchell will take it and try to return it. Gives up some ground. Stiff arms. One guy runs into some trouble and bang down at the 47-yard line. Mitchell gave up some ground trying to uh, get a wall, trying to get some folks uh, to block for him. And finally a black with a score of 20 to 7. First and 10, Frederick will run the play, give to 77 lakhs, 50, 45, runs over a man at the 42 and gets to the 40. Number 77, Pi lakhs, put his head down and hammered to the Medill 39-yard line, picks up enough for the first down. Snowy, nine in Medill, Oklahoma. Frederick Bombers, ninth uh, game of the season, the 93 season. Kind of reminds me of some football games played way back in the 60s. You know, it was always cold on that last one or two. Hand off uh, again to, I believe that's Pie Lax again. Yeah, it was Pie, and they never did get him down, still standing. As he gets to the Medill 35-yard line, picked up about four, and it'll bring here the Medill 35 or 36-yard line. Second down, Bobber. McCullough, quick pitch to Ryan Ben, sweeping right. Ben at the 40, 35, and drug down from behind after he got inside the 30-yard line. Probably to the Medill 28. And someone's down. Is that uh, Ryan Ben who's still down? I believe it is. Now, as he was pulled down from behind, fell backwards on his leg, Ryan did, and he is uh, still down at about the 30-yard line, 25-yard line, something like that, about 25. Can't put his left uh, leg down. Hmm. Boy, a guy rushed for over 1,000 yards as a junior. And... Can't tell if it's a knee or an ankle. Woo. That is, Joel has checked in. Bombers have it first and 10 after Ryan being picked up that first down. 
that they will give to 77 lakhs and he will barrel. Well, one thing about lakhs, he punishes people when he carries the ball and they go to make the tackle. They have to give up just a little bit to make. He's sitting on that heater with you. Yeah, he got over here next to this heater. Got me a new friend here. McCullough pitches to George Mitchell trying to find some running room outside, finally skids and stops and then turns up field and makes a couple of yards out of nothing. Pretty nice run by George Mitchell as the Wildcats pursued really well to the uh, field and it'll bring up third down in three. Okay, uh, Bombers facing third in three. They will hand off, and I believe it might have been a fumble on the play. I'm not sure. Uh, we got it back, and uh, it'll be a fourth down situation. Fourth down, about two. John, put your glasses on over yonder and across the way on the tackle. Looks like he got his uh, leg back up under him on the tackle. Fourth and two for the Frederick Bombers. First down. Well... High was on the carry. They give him his forward progress. He should have the first down. He needed about two. And should have got uh, at least that. Well, we got timeout for a measurement as the spot is very, very important in a situation like this. They've got the ball down close to the Medill 15 yard line. They stretch the chain first down for the Frederick Bombers by the length of the football twice. That's the way looking on the Frederick Bomber bench and believes that it is an ankle on Ryan Ben. Bombers have it first and 10 at the Medill 15 yard line. Flag down, George Mitchell carries inside the, let's see, well, they're gonna bring him back anyway. Ball was near the 19-yard line, and uh, so be first and 15 now for the Frederick Bombers. Ball back near the 23, 24-yard line. Second down, first down, 15 yards to go. George Mitchell has replaced Ryan Ben. The tailback in this offensive set. They'll hand off to Lax. Lax will barrel to about the or about the 20. So it should be about second down and 11. Jones and Awal will get credit on the tackle or that they move to in their power set to fullback. Quick pitch from McCullough to Mitchell, sweeping out to the outside, cuts up in a crease. Five, four, three, two, one, touchdown. He did no, he didn't get in. They pushed him out at the one as he drug about three of the ball carrier, the tacklers, uh, from five to about the one, and was finally. I thought he got in, but they said he stepped out just at the one yard line. Nice run by number 40, George Mitchell. He found just a little crease. First down, goal to go. Shot through that uh, gap, cut to the outside, and had about three Wildcats hanging on to him as he was trying to get into the end zone, and they finally pushed him out near the one. They give to Pie Lax. And 77 Lax carries. Lax on the carry. Defense. Was ready for lax. Now we've got official timeout. Fisher will step in. All right. Uh, second down and goal to go for Frederick. They will fake it, and the keeper now a flag comes flying in just as McCullough went into the end zone. This may be against Frederick. Could be a legal procedure against the Frederick Bombers, as I believe uh, George Mitchell moved too soon. Yep, that's exactly right. So that'll cost the Bombers five as Mitchell went too quick. And from the one, now they're facing second down and goal to go from uh, just about the six-yard line. The 
McCullough fakes, keeper finally pitches, caught, and did anybody get in? Nope. Boy, that was a razzle-dazzle fumble and all that type of stuff as McCullough coming out of there barely got to pitch away. Should have went to the tailback, but it was caught by, uh, I believe it was Isham. Third down from about the three. So third down and goal to go for Frederick. McCullough, two lacks. Pie got in, touchdown. Pie lacks that time powered over the left-hand side. That'll make it 26-7 to seven with 6.14 to go in the fourth quarter. Try for extra point will go on. The west end zone. Chad Floyd will come on to try the extra point. <laughs> no, the bomber's going to go for two. Okay, McCullough fakes. No, he pitches out to the outside and not get in. That was number 21, Kevin Isham, and Isham did not get in as they went for two. 6.14 to go in the fourth quarter. Frederick 26, Medill 7. We'll be back in just a moment. Chan Floyd will kick off, and it'll be soccer style. He kicks her downfield, high kick, fielded at about the 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30. Tackled at the Frederick Bomber 30-yard line. That's Ron Roberts on the return. Cheyenne Clark, I believe, on the tackle. For the Frederick Bombers, sale seven. That'll be, of course, uh, probably in the fourth quarter in that ball game. Now in formation for Medill, that fine uh, kickoff return by Robertson. Quarterback will stand straight up, throw out in a flat, and it's incomplete. Completed pass. High formation for Medill. All right, Maris drops back to pass and hit by Bubba Lax and tackle it to 40. Maris that time went back to pass, rolled out right, then looked back left, and by that time, uh, uh, Bubba was all Johnny on the spot and tackled him at the 39. Grab Maris. Both those guys named Bubba. Bubba Maris and Bubba Lax. Bubba got Bubba. Whatever you think, John. All right, the quarterback again, Maris, will go back and big rush, got the pass away. He completed to number 45, and he spins and does a pretty good job running with it. Jones does to the 47-yard, excuse me, 27-yard line of the Frederick Bombers. That's number 45. Danny Jones, fourth down and needing about eight yards for the first down. Down in Bomber territory, so of course they're going for it. Maris will drop. Lots of pressure. Now he'll scramble up the middle. Looks, finally delivers, complete. And will he have the first down? Well, he's going to get a nice spot. They're going to give him all the way to um, about the 20-yard line on the spot. Anthony was coming back for it. Not enough for the first down. He had to get to the 19, and they marked it at the 20-yard line. Hilburn and Johnson credited with the tackle on number 33 as he come back for it. That's Anthony Reed. Bombers, their own 20-yard line with 3.33 to go fourth quarter. Bombers on top, 26-7. to They will hand off straight ahead to Kevin Isham. And Isham from the 20 to the 23, maybe tough running. 45 and 42 on the stop. Ron Ryan for a first down. Kevin Isham now has rushed for 102 yards on the night. 
for the Frederick Bomber, so both Isham and being over 100 yards. This will be the handoff straight up the middle to uh, Flax, and he dropped it at the 35-yard line, and Madil fell on it. Flax was just running along and had some nice, uh, uh, had a nice gain, uh, still on his feet, and dropped it. And Madil fell on it at the Frederick Bomber 36-yard line. Being downfield, I started to make a heck of a run out of that, and he had already dropped it about five yards back and was fell on. Maris will drop, big rush. Now will scramble out of the pocket to the right, runs uh, downfield and run out of bounds. And he will step out near the 30-yard line. So only about, uh, well, about a five-yard pickup by Bubba Maris as everybody was covered downfield. So he scrambled and got out of bounds at the Frederick Bomber 30-yard line. That'll stop them. Snow still remains on the bleachers seat area here at uh, Medill. Some still on the field and a little bit of light uh, flex falling. Hand off. And this will be to number 45. Got out of a uh, grasp of one tackler. Will carry to the Frederick Bomber 23-yard line and Kevin Isham finally corral number 45. That's Danny Jones. Boy, he's a tough runner. He's only Wide out, split out to the right. Maris will drop, hit by Lax and drop. Mar uh, Bubba Maris went back to pass, dropped back, took about five steps, and out of nowhere comes 77. That was Pi Lax, and he grabbed Maris around the shoulder pads and put him to the ground at the Frederick Bomber 30-yard line. So a uh, loss of uh, about a moment. For sale, 13-6. All right, a minute 59 to go here in the ball game. Frederick leads 26 to 7. Medill faces second down about 17 yards as Maris goes back. Pressure from Whitworth by on the backside, and Whitworth grabs him and drags him to the ground. Maris back at the 36 yard line, so another loss for the Frederick Bomber secondary. Third down situation for Medill. All right, Maris will drop, three-step drop, throws out in the flat, complete flea flicker, uh, pitch out, and Bubba Lax nail 45 and knocked him out of bounds, Jones. Uh, but uh, that was a little hook and lateral play by Medill that was run successfully by another team a few weeks ago, and that was Plainview that ran that one for a touchdown. But the Bombers defended it well as Bubba Lax hit the, because he's ran really well for Medill tonight, number 45, Jones. Facing a fourth down and long situation. See what Maris has to do this time. They're going to run a reverse, pitch back. Now they'll throw it downfield, Maris will. He throws it way, way downfield, picked off. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and run out of bounds. And let me get a number. Who is that number, John? 22 for Frederick. Picked it off. Number 22, Thompson on the interception. Uh, Cedric Thompson is who John said it was, number 22, that picked it off way, way down in Bomber territory and was credited with uh, returning it to the... 49-yard line bomber flea flicker as Maris ended up with it, throwing it downfield. But again, the bombers defended it extremely well in the secondary. As be the give straight up the middle and carrying to the Medill 39-yard line, about a 12, 13-yard pickup on the carry is number 21. Go in the uh, ball game. Bomber's about to go eight and one on the year. That play goes nowhere and hit at the 40-yard line. That time, uh, McCullough went to hand off to Isham, and Isham was hit immediately. 
So bring up second down, just about 11. That'll be the last play of the ball game. Frederick's going to win it 26 to 7. That's our final score. The Frederick Bombers going to go eight and one on the year. 